Greetings person currently watching this, and welcome back to Cthulhu Saves the World. So when we left off, I don't remember if I was just given the task, or if I had wandered around the ship a little while after that. But either way, we need to stop this alien spaceship from taking over the world. Now, while I was off camera, I did the whole exploring and fighting all the battles that I normally do off camera because I don't really find it exciting or entertaining to record, so I'm guessing it's not exactly entertaining to watch. Well, in the process, I kind of stumbled into the boss's chamber, and I'm not exactly sure if it's going to let me leave, so let's just fight him and hope for the best. This is the ship's bridge. With just a few button presses, we can take over the ship and save the world. Not so fast. Another kitty! Pause. My evil one-eyed twin. I never thought you'd stoop to working with humans. Oh, hi, Cthulhu. Long time, no see. Hey. Associating with these humans has taught me that there is more to life than subjugating planets. But we just met a few minutes ago. Foolish twin. You always were the soft one. It's time to teach you a lesson. I will not lose to the likes of you. Okay, so... Oh, hey. He doesn't have any, uh... Doesn't have any friends, so I wonder what the trick to finding him is. Either way, we'll start this the uh, same old song and dance. But instead of doing his thing, which is protect, I'm going to use sharpen. And then I'll probably use brave wind next turn. But this turn I'll use sharpen. Okay. He does his attack, 57 damage to Cthulhu. All enemies become stronger. Yeah, I think I'm going to start reading these uh, readouts because I have a feeling that they're telling me valuable information that would probably help me during the fight, and I just skip over them. And that's just everybody's stuff going up. Alright, now we shall call the Kraken, because he it's like having a fifth party member, so it's really valuable. With him, I shall use Brave Win. I think that hits plus one means that for now on his hits will be considered... Uh, plus two to combo instead of plus one. And if that's the case, then again, very valuable. With her, she shall... I think she has an ability. Where is it at? It's curse, isn't it? Yeah, curse. Reduces resistance by 50%. So we will hit a lot harder. As well as, I believe we get a damage bonus from making opponents insane. So we should get the damage bonus from Insanity, as well as just a flat 50% reduction to how much damage he absorbs. Alright, now we just do the whole... Actually, let's do Pierce. Because it does more damage, as well as completely ignores armor. With Hirsch, we shall... Uh, I don't know if we can play, because I don't know if he's immune to that kind of stuff. Let's try some of these abilities first, like Slow Strike. Get him lower so that way we can do our attacks before he does his attacks. Yeah, look at that. 1,500 damage, that's why I use that ability. Very helpful. Hmm. What else does she do? Okay, she can poison. Let's see if he can, if he can actually put that on him or not. Sharp hits him for a lot of damage. Kibiru hits him for... Oh, that's Umi. And he is slow, good. He is poison, that's really nice. Okay, Cthulhu hit for 900. Oh, dang. Did he just like flat out kill Umi? Okay, so maybe my strategy isn't gonna work out. I had really originally not put a whole lot into uh, Umi taking a hit, because I figured she wouldn't take a hit, but by the looks of it, every boss and her friggin' grandmother has an attack that hits everybody at once, so that plan kind of goes out the window. Um, anything else we can throw at him? No, I don't think so. We should dark blast. All right, there he comes back up. Or she. How much HP does he have left? Not a whole lot, considering how much damage we we're putting out. Um, let's death blow. She will use heal. Wait, does full heal? No, that's just one ally. So she'll heal sharp. Hopefully she'll attack before he does, though. I'm not counting on it. He'll use that. And she will dark blast. 
Sharp got his attack. Oh, cool, she did. That's good. All right. Dang. Wow. All right. So I guess now he's just hitting incredibly hard. That's lovely. How much HP does he have left? All right, he ain't got crap. Chances are Sharp will take him out in this turn, but just to be on the safe side, let's use the potion on October so we can have her. Pardon me, so we can have her for the next turn. All right, win and strike once again, and he's down. All right, Cthulhu got a level. I'm guessing everybody got a level again. Let's see. Plus one to attack, extra MP after victory. Mm, let's do this one. For Umi, it's prey on the weak. Deals extra damage to enemies with ailments. That's nice. Or more magic. Uh, let's do... Let's do more magic. Alright, stats or HP. Let's go stats. Alright, with October, it's strength and magic or HP and MP. Um, again, let's go with the damage. Okay, with pause. Insane peril. Small chance that insane enemies will become stunned. Or... Water and ice plus does more damage. Um... May as well just... Uh, we'll do this one. Alright, so. Farewell, evil twin with the bad eye. No! Pause disappears. Now all I have to do is push a few buttons, and the spaceship will be ours. Don't worry about that. I already took care of it. Boom. What did you do? I just pressed the big red button. Wasn't that right? That was the self-destruct button, you idiot. Everybody, out of the spaceship. Everybody runs back to the teleport pads. Teleport activate. Cthulhu and his group escape the spaceship just as it crashes into the river below. That was close. We may have lost a nifty spaceship, but I saved the world, just like the game's title said I would. Cthulhu has gained 50 hero points, but he's still not a true hero. What? I saved the world. Only once, though. Come back after you've saved it multiple times. I'm starting to dislike you, narrator. Hey look, the ship has blocked the river, revealing a new path for us to take. I guess crashing the spaceship was a good, I uh, good thing after all, right? Don't talk to me, woman. Onward, to glory, stupid narrator. Alright, so, barring the whole, not only is Umi a crazed fangirl, she's also a ditz. I hope you enjoy this episode as much as I did. Bye.